Hey gang, Andy Petronic, co-founder of the Whole Life Challenge, and this is Living Room Workout video number 41. We're going to continue on the theme that we've been on for the last two workouts. We're going to be doing push-ups and squats, but we're going to put them together a little bit differently today. We're going to go back to the same alternating style that we used in workout number 39, but instead of giving you a minute to do 20, like I did in 39, you're going to have 20 seconds to do as many as you can of push-ups, followed by a 10-second rest, and then as many squats as you can in 20 seconds, followed by a 10-second rest. This is a Tabata interval. We're going to repeat that eight times. So this entire workout only lasts eight minutes. It's two minutes shorter than the workout we did in number 39. But we're going to get a chance to, A, see if you get as many reps as you did in number 39, and B, a couple days later, you're going to get to find out, did this have a greater impact? Did it lead to more soreness? Because soreness is a good indicator of the requirement for your body to expand, grow, adapt, or change. Of course, you don't want to be too sore, but a good amount of soreness is a good indicator that it was an impactful workout. So, I've got one question for you. Are you ready? Good, because I am. Here we go. Let me pull up my timer. And we're going to get a 10 second countdown. We're starting with push ups. And again, 20 seconds. By the way, you need something to write these, your results down with pen, piece of paper. Okay, I got 25. We're getting ready for squats. We only have 10 seconds of rest, so here we go. Nineteen for me. All right, going back to push-ups. Here we go. That didn't take long. I'm down to 19. All right, squats. Eighteen for me on that one. All right, here we go. Seventeen. Phew. Okay. Three seconds. Here we go. One. Whew. All right. <clears throat> 
Down to 16. Here we go. Three, two, one, you're off. Not a lot of rest. Halfway there. Oh boy, fourteen dropping like a rock. guys, this is where it starts to get really tough. Squats are holding steady, push-ups are dropping. Two more of each. All right, 14. Now they're starting to steady. Was that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. That was eight. Wow. I thought, I thought we were at seven and we had one more to go. So my nose started to bleed in the middle of that, mostly because we've been having extremely dry weather here. And I got a little tiny nosebleed the other day, 
just from blowing my nose. So nothing to be concerned about. Um, okay, I'm looking at my numbers. I, I, I'm not fast enough with math to be able to add them all up, but I know I did over 100 push-ups. And in squats, I did about 20 every round. So that's, that would be 20, that'd be 160 squats. So I actually ended up doing more squats and maybe more push-ups than in, in a total of eight minutes than I did in a total of 10 minutes in the other workout. And it certainly was harder. My heart rate is higher. So more, more work done in less time. It was a more efficient workout. So I'm interested to hear how you compare. And if you take the time to compare your numbers, come into the comments and let everybody know how you did compare it to the last time. I'll be back, not next week, but well, it'll appear like next week, but it'll be workout number 42. And um, we're gonna do another version, a fourth version of push-ups and squats. So until that time, this is Andy Petronic. We'll see ya.